Okay. Yep. Okay. So now if you really want to kind of, you're feeling kind of daring, you can um, take the really dark brown on there. Use the same pencil again. And create a stronger outer V. This basically just creates a stronger contour on your eye. Okay, well, sometimes when you do this, the pencil kind of makes it look harsh. No issues. Just take a nice blending brush like that and then the windshield wiper motion again. If you blend and you have a good brush to do it, you can never go wrong with eyeshadow. That's the thing about the eyeshadow. You can never ever go wrong. Can't really see that. Okay. Okay. So a very simple everyday eye that I do. Now since it is like a special event, it's good about you, I kind of want to fancy it up. Um, I'm going to take it up a notch. I am going to use one of these shimmery colors on my masquerade palette. So it's got like this bright yellow goldish color and I'm just gonna swipe it a little bit on the lid. Just like a sweep of it. Okay, see that instantly just brightens up the eyes. Next, I'm going to do the same thing right underneath my brow. This will also blend that harsh line created by the pencil brush. Okay, and then I'll just go in a little bit. The outer corner, this is just finishing up and polishing up the look. I'm gonna make sure you blend really well. Okay, that is it for your eyeshadows. Um, now, I usually always, always, always fill in my brows. Um, I have a nice strong brow, so I don't really need to, but it just kind of polishes it up and gives it a nice clean look um, that goes really well with if I'm wearing strong liner uh, or like a bold lip. So I use this Brow to Go Kit by White Lightning. NYX also has one. Um, I love browsings by Benefit, it lasts forever. Um, it's got three different colors in it and a little wax. So I just take, uh, you can do a straight edge brush like that, or you can do like an angled brush. Um, I'm just gonna use this. And then I take the medium tone color, and I basically just create a nice little line on the bottom. Then I turn my brush, and I just sweep a little bit, and then just finish with a little bit, whatever's left over in the back of the brow. Um, you always want to make sure you don't overfill the brow. That's why I always keep these little spoolies handies, handy and then you just kind of take the excess off. That's it. Um, you can do this with a pencil, just make sure it's not too harsh. Um, I like using a light or a darker brown color instead of using like a black. Um, because it is very harsh and it looks very, very made up. And I don't like looking made up at all. <laughs> okay, that's it. So now we're off to a liner. Now, a liner tends to intimidate a lot of people. You don't have to always do a liquid liner you can take the same dark shadow that we use to create that contour in a brush like that, and then just kind of work it on your lash line. And it doesn't have to be done really well. It doesn't have to be a nice, clean, straight line because if you go wrong, you can always blend.
that's it. Um, now I am going to do liner because I really like liner. Uh, I'm going to use the Benefit push-up liner. The Dareal push-up liner. Oh. It's the Dareal push-up liner by Benefit and this one's in black. Um, I have the green too. It goes on really well. Um, but black is great for anything you want. So before using it, it's got like this little push tip on it. You just want to make sure it's nice and clean before you use it. Because it is a gel liner, so sometimes you get a little build up in it. You just want to make sure it's clean. So I'd get some more product out. Just a couple of twists. And then for this, I will probably need a mirror. What I do is... I actually hold the liner down horizontally and I start in the middle of the eye. And then I just kind of add in the front. I never go all the way in because I have very dark eyes and it makes it look even dark and even more darker and uh, more duller. <laughs> that on. I'll take some more of that brown shadow. It's gonna blend it in so it's not quite so harsh and it sets really well. Easy peasy. Now what I like about this liner is that if you use this lash guard and you actually just lay it flat and use the whole thing, you get a nice clean straight line and you don't have to freehand your liner. I mean, all our lives, we freehand our liner. This is like genius. <laughs> you just gotta get a hold of it. I mean, the it's something new, you're not used to doing it. So it took me like a good few times to get used to it, but I don't think I'll ever go back to another liner anymore. So I gotta start with this eye. There you go. Again, it looks a little hard, so I just take a little bit of brown shadow on that pencil brush, a really dark one. I just kind of blend it in. Okay, now you're not getting a full impact of my eyeshadow because I have like crazy dark circles. You, that's why you want to make sure you always conceal and I always conceal at the end I haven't done my foundation I haven't done anything else um, because I want to make sure the eyes are done got a little bit of fallout here you can always clean that up and then follow so you get a very clean polished look okay and um, you can do false lashes if you wanted to but I'm just going to use mascara um, do layer my mascara. So I usually start out with the Cargo. Um, this is the Lash Activator Mascara and I just kind of lengthen the lashes with it a little bit. Um, next I do my Dior Show in Blackout.
And then you want to do it while your mascara is wet because if you wait for it to dry and do it like a primer, then you get like the crazy clumpy spider lashes. Those are a big no-no. And then this one is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara in black. Okay, look at that. Um, and if you're still getting some clumping action going, I always keep <laughs> my CoverGirl on hand. It's got a really um, cool big brush, which has like very um, like firm bristles. So it makes it, um, it separates them well. Okay, that is all for the eyes for now. So next I am going to go ahead and do my foundation. Let's zoom out a little bit. This is my holy grail, the Clarence Super Restorative Tinted Moisturizer. The color I'm using is in 04. I can get away with 05 too if they don't have it in stock, but I really, really like this. Okay, um, sometimes if I need more coverage, I'll mix in my Benefit Big and Easy um, Tinted Moisturizer. This is actually a BB cream, but this is great for someone who has um, oily skin because it has more coverage. It is um, like a liquid to powder, so it wears really well and controls oil during the day. I am going to use my MAC stippling brush to put this on. Oh, and I do like to mix in highlighter. I love using my Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit. I mix it in there. Just kind of get it all. And I like doing one side on my face first so you can see the difference. Whoa, that's kind of crazy, right? But I promise it still doesn't look cakey in person. Super radiant, just evens everything out, brightens your whole face. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so that's my foundation. Um, I do like setting my foundation. I don't like any drying powders. I don't like full coverage powders or foundations. Um, so I use the Laura Geller um, Baked um, Balance in Bronze, and this is in medium. The good thing about this is this half is like a bronzer and this half is a powder. It's freaking genius. So I just swirl them together, dab off the axis, and then I draw, I draw a three on my face. Now what this does, it brings back some of my natural contour. So, oh no, I'm not doing King K contour. It just brings back my natural light. Get that. Chisel that jaw a little bit. Get some down here. The same thing on the other side here. That's your cheat sheet. You draw a three and an E. Okay, that's it. Next, you do your blush. My all time go to blush is Shiseido. The color is PK304. I've used it for years. It's just the right amount of pink for me. Um, and I struggle with um, blushes that look powdery or um, are very drying. This is the only blush that I figured is not very drying on my skin. Um, 
So before I do put that on, I will go ahead and do my concealer. Um, I start out with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector. This is in medium. And I honestly really like using like fluffy brushes to put on concealer so it doesn't get cakey. And what I do is I draw a triangle. You just gotta get it on first. It doesn't have to be all nice and perfect. You can do this with a basic eyeshadow brush. I got a little bit on my nose because I have like this allergy line that's like I can never get rid of no matter what I do. And it doesn't help that I haven't gotten a facial in like 20 years. No, it's been a while. Okay, next I am going to use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35. This stuff is thick. <laughs> I try not to use it every day because it makes me kind of break out a little bit around the eye. I have started getting styes. I got like zits around here. So I don't use it quite that much. But hey, what the heck? Today is gotta job. I gotta I haven't eaten all day, gotta look pretty, right? Okay, and then there's my mirror. Uh-oh. fingers pack it in with the um, the MAC concealer you actually need to heat it up with your body so that's why I'm using my finger and not a brush okay okay it's on nice and pretty Okay, now I can go ahead and do my blush and then set my highlight and my under eye. Cool. I wonder if these lights are too harsh and you can get more impact of how my makeup looks without them. It's better. Nope, not really. Hmm, it's a little better. Okay. So I totally loaded up on some blush right now. Okay. Next, I am going to use that Laura Geller powder again gonna go underneath this time I'm using the powder side because it matches my skin color I'm just kind of set that concealer a little bit um, this is a very sheer powder so it's very less likely to make you cakey in any way okay next um, I'm going to set that highlight I like the Laura Geller highlighter this one is the baked highlighter in French vanilla. And all I'm going to do is take this, go right underneath, well, right underneath where I put my concealer and right over where I put my blush. Put some on my nose, a little bit right here, a little bit on the cupid's bow, and that's it. Um, it's not supposed to look like anything unless you're really going for the crazy highlight look, which I don't think is attractive at all. Makeup is meant to be simple. Makeup is meant to make you feel beautiful. It's for you. If someone can look at your face and point out the products, you're actually, I mean, according to me, I don't think that's the purpose of it. That's not what it's for. If it's to just very softly, very subtly enhance you and just bring out your features, it's not meant to hide anything. Yes, if you got a little zit hair there, sure, cover it. But please try, I, in my career of six years, I've used full coverage foundation on two women. That is it. Okay, next, let's do lips. So, lips are 
my I don't know I'm very very picky about lips for me it has to be long lasting because I don't want to keep reapplying my lips it has to be impactful um, and so I'm going to start out with the stain this is just a Revlon stain um, it has a bomb on the other side I don't know what color it is I think it's called Just Bitten so let's start out Just going to follow with um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hill liquid lipstick. This is called Craft. Really like this color. Um, the only thing about these are once you get them on, they're on for a while. So you want to make sure you get them on in a nice clean line. <laughs> So I start on the cupid's bow first. it and then you just gotta clean up the excess. Uh oh, wrong brush. So this brush has got a little bit of concealer on it. You usually just touch up the outside of the lip. Let's see if I can get some shots where you can actually see the makeup and it doesn't look quite so hard with these lights. <laughs> 